Hey, what's going on everybody? I am driving down uh, north on 69 into uh, through Fishers, Indiana, rolling with Rodney Hartley of Hartley Irrigation. He's up in front. And we are going to install the first baseline controller for the city of Fishers. I think they've got uh, 20 to 30 existing controllers. And the first one that's going in is a little bit more complicated because it has a wireless component to it. So it's actually two, two different controllers that share the same water source. So we're going to be installing the 3200 controller with a substation located a couple hundred yards away. And then the controller is going to be able to activate the valves on the substation through a local uh, wireless network using Ethernet radio. So we're going to be hanging both cabinets, installing both antennas, uh, as well as activating the 4G cell modem so we can run all of this through the cloud. And uh, anyway, just wanted to jump on here and give you a little heads up on where we're going, what we're doing, and then I'll report more when we get to the site and start installing this. Cheers. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we're rolling. Then you can give us the sort of the tour of what we're looking at. Oh, it looks like we're gonna need a fan. It's gonna get hot in there, huh? <laughs> I came prepared. I knew it was gonna be hot this evening. So you said this is the substation location? Yeah, this is the one that has the two substations that we're gonna uh, replace with just one of them. A big one. Gotcha. But there's two twenty yeah. fives right there. Okay. And these are two core. Um, I guess I don't know really what you call them. Two core boxes. And then the antenna from here goes up top. Is that what we're looking at? This yeah, black it's, wire. Yep, it's on the top. Of the yeah, so they're using some other type of antenna because that's really narrow gauge cable. Yeah. Okay. So I'm glad we have our own. So we'll just take a quick look around this maintenance building. See if we can find the antenna here on the outside. There it is. Okay. So yeah, not sure exactly the type of technology that two core uses, but we're going to replace that with the baseline ethernet radio antenna. So stay tuned. We'll keep this rolling. All right. We got the substation hung kind of just temporarily. Uh, none of the zone wires are hooked up, but I wanted to at least power it up. And then uh, we're going to go over to the controller and mount the 3200 power it up and then see if we can get a wireless signal between the two controllers using the stock antennas uh, and that way we won't have to mount the higher gain antennas so that's what we're going to do next and heading over to the 3200 location and then we'll be back to wire up all of the zone valves once everything is hopefully communicating so this room's going to be hot as well you thinking? Uh, I think so, yeah. I guess it's not as bad. Looks like a storage room to me. Yeah. So we got, which one is this? So this is the main control box. Yeah. And then this is the, I don't know what they call this. Is there wireless, uh, yeah, hub. Okay. And then uh, looks like the antenna comes out of here, goes up and out right there. There it is. All right. Let me know if you need anything. All right, we're back here for day two. 
<laughs> at uh, City of Fishers. We're in the one of their storage and utility barns that has the substation that we replace the two core equipment with. So again, the substation it communicates to the 3200 controller via an ethernet radio. The ethernet radio is mounted here. And then essentially it's a junction box of traditional wiring and is um, all working directly off the 3200 controller. So these became zones of the 3200 controller. Uh, zones 29, which is down here, all the way up through 56 up here. And it's uh, going a couple hundred yards back to the controller. And then the antenna is run outside. Uh, so the antenna comes out of the bottom of the controller here, loops around, and then it goes up to the top there. We have a six, six dB gain uh, omnidirectional antenna. Let's walk around to the back here so you can take a look at that. So there's the 6 dB gain antenna up on the top of the barn, and we've got a great communication to the controller. Hey guys, I'm back in my office, and I just wanted to wrap this up. Uh, I wasn't able to capture a lot of footage at the end, and honestly, I just sort of forgot. You know, we wrapped up the project, and everything was working really well, and then we went inside to do training uh, with the city of Fishers and their personnel and I forgot to go back to the project and take more pictures of the antenna and controllers um, and all the work that we did. So just want to say thanks for joining us and until next time, happy sprinkling.